kid and you're asking like, what do we do about? Is you sign a contract with someone? So real quick, before you did that, did you? More than 30 years. I got my real estate license in the um, And your your origin story. Is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that kooka. You know, I'm a little more strict with what I'm I'm looking at. Uh, you always lose when you try to stretch the numbers. Okay. Do you know what that means? What I mean yeah, by stretching like numbers? If, if the house, if the ARV is two fifty, and it needs thirty grand with a pair, that's down to two twenty. You need to back out your prof, your assignment fee. You have to back out profit for the flipper. If you mm -hmm. if you offer too much and you stretch it and you try so hard because you want the deal, yep. Then your numbers aren't going to be right, and, and no one's going to buy it. Is that what you're saying? That that is correct. Okay. And so uh, another thing I would do side by side with you doing this is talking with buyers and seeing where they're buying, what is their criteria and how they're buying. Okay. They're, they're what I mean by that, solution, right? Like, what is their buy box? Now, are they buying with cash? Are they buying with hard money? Are they buying with what areas are they buying in? Now, those are... Whatever areas they tell you, you can go driving for dollars in those areas. Okay. All okay. right. Yes. Yes. Okay. So now you got a built-in buyer, right? Okay. Because this guy said he he's going to buy. He wants to buy in that area. Okay. All right. Now you follow his numbers. They try to call it reverse wholesaling. It's not reverse wholesaling. It's just wholesaling. I, ha it's I have doing it smart. Term. Okay. Yeah. It's just it's just wholesaling smart. That's all. All right. Okay. Now, when you do get a deal under contract, all right, or even before you get a deal, you can always come to somebody you know and trust, another wholesaler, and ask them their opinion. Like, for instance, you can always come to me and say, hey, oh, nice. I want a JV with you. Yeah. yeah. Does this make sense? Does this work? Okay. Okay. Um, for me, I don't ever go behind anybody's back. If they decide they want a JV with me on a deal, whether they got it under contract, they don't. It doesn't matter. Okay. okay. I'm never going to go behind your back and get a deal. So have there you had are, people do that to you? Yes, I have. Okay. okay. There's so many people that it's afraid. Once you get it under contract, though, okay, don't be the guy out there afraid to put the address in your marketing. All right, you, P, your buyers have to do their due diligence. I get, I see so many Facebook posts where they give you the cross streets or they give you the street that it's on and the zip code and everything, but they don't want to give you the address because they're afraid somebody's going to snake the deal. Well, if you have it under contract, they're not going to snake the deal. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I understand. So, so keep that in mind. Um, but when you say, I'll give you an example. When, if you work with me as a JV partner, I take care of all the marketing, but I walk you through everything. Okay. Wow. So I'll walk you through wow. the contracts. I'll walk you through everything um, and kind of go from there. All right. That's a big help. That's, yep. I, I can talk to people. I understand houses. It, it's yep. just the contract and, and, meshing everything together that that's my challenge yep no problem keep in mind you get the, you got to get the pa signed the purchase agreement signed okay now what do you there's so do you many use for or what do you use for a contract uh, i have my own contract okay so right. um actually i picked up uh a contract so todd chun i worked how i got started you said that you saw me with Todd Chun yeah. on here. Yeah. He was technically like my first mentor, I guess you can call him, because I, I did my first like three deals I did, I JV'd with him. Nice. Okay. Okay. And then I went on my own. I j and I, I, I JV'd with him on a few other deals as well ever since too. 
Okay. So, um, and he, that's exactly what he did with me. And that's the reason why I do it with others. Nice. Okay. That's, that's wonderful. Yep. Yeah. So what I find the house and, and get it under contract. I mean, so how, how, yep. how what point so, am I to you or, or did we, what point do we And, and that's up to you. That, uh, that's up to you. Okay. If you, when, when you get it, I prefer to be involved just after you get it under contract. I don't want to be involved after you've marketed it for a month and then, and then try to sell it. Then, okay. Then you can't sell it. Okay. So I, I want to be involved in the beginning. Okay. okay. Now, if you okay. want me involved before you get it under contract, that's perfectly fine too. Okay. Because wow. the reason why I say that is, is some people have trust issues where they don't want that involved uh, because they're afraid, like I said, that somebody's going to snake the deal. I'm not that person. I'm never going to yeah. be that person. I don't get that so, impression from you. Right. I appreciate that. So with that being said, and, and you know, if, if if we do post this on my YouTube channel, and everybody out there, they they should know that. So right. uh, that other people, that there is a worry that other people have. Okay. So okay. and rightfully so. That is rightfully so. I've had buyers try to snake deals for me, but I built. I it's funny because I built the relationship with the seller enough where the seller will come to me and say, "Hey, the guy that you just walked through over here." You know, he just tried to give me an offer and, and say, you're doing this and blah, 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 this and that. And oh, wow. because I have a good rapport with the seller and the seller knows what I'm doing, they're like, yeah, I, I'm still only dealing with you. I don't, I don't even want you selling it to him. Okay. Okay. So that's where building rapport really, and being honest, okay, comes in handy. I, I've right. been looking into this for about a month, maybe okay. no, more than that, about maybe three, four months. And yep. and the word ethics, honesty, relationship, mm -hmm. keep co constantly in the forefront. Every Everything I'm listening to, podcasts, yep. so everybody keeps going back to relationship, ethics, honesty, reputation. Correct. A lot yep. of that I'm hearing from. 100%. So, so go back to, you're going to get the info. You're going to try to disqualify them. If they still qualify after that, then you're going to go to the next step. Okay. And when uh, you're going to come to an agreement. Okay. You're going to come to an agreement and you're going to get the contract signed okay so the agreement for the is the pa the purchase agreement okay okay so you're gonna get that signed and a lot of times what happens is is you gotta walk the seller through that okay you gotta walk the seller through that process what i mean by that is is you know you usually do an e-signature Okay. Right. So I tell, I get on the phone and I say, Hey, please let me know when you're going to be in front of your computer. Okay. Um, can you be in front of your computer in 10 minutes? I'll give you, I'll write up the contract and I'll send it right over and we can go over it, uh, over the phone. I can go over everything with you. DocuSign or what do you use? Yep. You can use DocuSign. There's a bunch of different companies out there, but, okay. um, you can use DocuSign as one of them. Okay. Okay. And that way, if they have any questions, they have you on the phone right there, then and there. Okay. They're not, they're not, um, going through it and saying, Oh, I got to get this to my lawyer to have him look over. That's a, that's a stall tactic. Okay. That sellers use. Okay. Okay. That, you know, that means they're, they're never going to give it to their lawyer. Okay. Right. No, no. Right. right. Or I, I gotta get, I gotta, I gotta talk to my agent and see if he's, oh, so there's an agent involved going back to disqualifying. Yeah. Okay. 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 Or, or I gotta go, I, I, I gotta talk to my wife. Okay. 
by just going through this disqualifying, you also need to ask who's all the decision makers. Is it you and your wife? If so, let's let's get both of you on the on the phone and talk about it. Okay. Mm. You and you want to go over the purchase agreement with both of them. If they both have to sign, you go over it with both of them. Okay. 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 Or a better yet is have a paper copy and and have it there in person. Okay. Okay. Everyone's different on a, you're going to get all types of sellers, all types of sellers. Okay. Okay. I've had sellers that want to only do in person. That's it. Older people. And then, it, yeah, older people. All right. Then you get investors where they're from out of state. They have to do DocuSign. Okay. okay. But they already know the drill. They're like, yeah, know. yeah. I got the t-shirt. All Let's right. go. Yep. Okay. So, so from here, you go into the agreement. This is all for the seller. Okay. You're going to find a buyer. Okay. Show the property. Bring it. And what, how I bring that up to the sellers is, Hey, how do I get through the property walk? I, I'm going to need to bring some contractors through my investment partners, things like that. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, hopefully it's only one or two here and there, but if I need to get multiple quotes, I need to bring multiple people, you know, okay. and they understand that usually okay. <laughs> where it comes in hard, where it really comes in, um, it being tricky is when there's a tenant involved. Yeah. Okay. okay. Cause they're not typically going to be cooperative. Cause they no, don't want to be cooperative. Them. No, they'll be cooperative. It's because you're probably going to, um, inherit the tenant to be honest. Okay. All right. But All right. sometimes the seller doesn't want the tenant knowing what's going on. Okay. Okay. So you may have to pose as an inspector, which I can do. See? Right. Yep. I can do that. Exactly. Okay. So All right. what I mean by that is, is, you know, the homeowner knows what's going on, but the renter, the you're going to pose as an inspector. We're just inspecting property, just seeing what all needs to be done. We may need to come back with another contractor just to get some quotes and stuff like that. If there's anything, you know, okay. so you're preparing them just in case. Okay. And then you've got to work with their schedule. You, you need to give them a 24 hour notice. Okay. This, this, you know, so on and so forth. The easy ones is when it's vacant and it's on a lockbox. Oh yeah. Okay. Those are the easy ones. Okay. All right. But either way, whatever you do, you're always going to run into problems or hurdles. Okay. I don't really like call them problems. I call them hurdles. Okay. Okay. So you, there's always a way around the hurdle. Okay. No matter what, there's always a way, a way around and you're there to find a solution. Okay. Okay. I can so, do that. I can do all. I can exactly. I, so once you find, once you, once you go through this whole process and you find the buyer, okay, then you're going to assign it. Uh, assign the PA. Okay. It's an assignment of contract. Okay. My handwriting is horrible, so I apologize for that. <laughs> All right. So it's better than mine. So you're going to assign the contract. All right. And uh, assign the PA, the purchase agreement. Okay. And what you're going to do after you do all that, you're going to send to title. Okay. Now you may start title at this process 
after you right after you assign where well, after you get the PA signed okay you may start the title after that um, sometimes you don't sometimes it happens so fast that it doesn't really matter okay um, but you don't want to wait too long to get title started all right okay so you're gonna send it to title okay and there you go send the title okay and then you're gonna work with the title company okay to uh to see what's needed next from them okay Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room